Right, I just want to make a video about how I clean my brass. I use the Frankfurt Arsenal rotary tumbler. Uh, it's a wet tumbler. I uh, don't use the pins. A lot of people use the pins. I find it's not needed, especially if you're not popping the primers out. I do about 1,500 cases of 9mm in this. Uh, they said I don't use the pins. I use a car wash and wax. Real nice. You don't have any water spots. And Check out the video. Show you how to come out with some nice shiny brass. So I do 9 millimeter, I like to do about 1500 in the Frankfurt Arsenal wet tumbler. You can see I filled up about right here. Uh, you want to stay about 28 to 30 pounds. Uh, it's 8.5 pounds per thousand, so I put about 1500 and then I fill it up maybe a gallon and a half of water. But you can see that. Definitely if you run a shop sink like me, if you don't have a screen, always put something in there so you don't drop the brass down there. So what I use, I don't use any pins. Pins are not needed. Uh, I've used Dawn and Lemmy Shine. What I like to use is the turtle wax, the zip wax, any type of car washing wax. Uh, here's another turtle brand, High Shine. That's just a car wash. I don't think that has wax in it, but I run about a nine millimeter case of Lemmy Shine. I don't even just eyeball it now. This is not Dawn, this is that wash and wax. A couple tablespoons of that in there. You just fill it up with water. Now, the cool thing about the, the Frankfurt Arsenal, I think I got this for like 103 bucks on uh, on jet.com. You have your, your strainers and you have the the clear plastic whenever you're running it. Now you're gonna get a lot of soap bubbles if you did it like me and put the soap in before the water. About an inch or two above the brass. So rinse off the side, get a good seal. I'm just gonna seal it up with that O-ring, tighten that up. Give it a little shake. So here we go. We're gonna put it on a three hour. Three hours. And I'll be back. All right. So now we got our three hour tumble done. Just gonna take this off, clean it up. I got one side for straining. Slap that on there, put your wood back on. It comes with two of these. I only use one of them. Just flip that over. You can see that water is nasty. And then I do, I just leave this side open. Flush some water through it. I just do a little bit like that. Just get the nasty stuff out. But to save water, I don't want to just continuously flush it. Put that cap back on, I fill it up with water just above the brass and then I shake it around. I'll do this twice. You can see that I just put it above the brass line. Do that twice. I just flush a little bit more water through it. It's 
Just let that drip out for a minute, then I pour it in this pan. And see how clean it gets. No pins. All I use is that wash and wax. And if you see some suds or whatever, I'll I'll rinse it off. But that looks pretty good. Using that wash and wax is gonna keep it shiny for a lot longer. It's not gonna get dingy in the water spots. So now let's take it over to the dehydrator. Now right, so here's my dehydrator. It's got like five different trays on it. Uh, I picked this up on Facebook for five bucks. Now if you have one like this, you have that drive shaft in the middle. You got that drive shaft and that'll actually spin all your plates, but the brass is a little too heavy. So I don't put that one on the bottom. I have to put that one on three or higher. So that way it don't spin. All I do is just place those around. It don't matter if some of them are standing up. I don't, it's got air that blows through it, so. I'm just place this next one on it. Slap it in the grooves and. Go ahead and put you on pause and I'll come back when I'm done. All right, we got all five trays. Just gonna plug this in. You hear it run. Now, the only problem with not using that one with the hex key in it for the drive is your brass can fall in there. So if you hear it binding up, you're gonna have to clear that out. Set that lid on there. Now I'm gonna let that dry for three or four hours. This is the reloading room. I'm finishing up now. Still got another coat of epoxy to do. I just got tired and haven't reloaded in several months, so I just set this up. But I'm gonna bring the nice shiny brass in and get all these dyes tuned back up. It's probably been six months since I've touched that. At least a year since I messed with this. I don't know if you guys have seen my last room. I had a real nice bench, so I plan on getting a bench in here eventually. I still got a lot of work, trim. Uh, still gotta do the epoxy. Got one more coat of epoxy, and I'm gonna throw the chips, a clear coat. Uh, if you guys seen the last, any of my last reloading videos, if you've seen the floor, it's the same type of floor I'm gonna do in this one. But that's it. Got the ammo mics, there's a video on that. I know nobody can find the plans for that. Just shoot me a message and I'll send them to you. Got DAA, he's, I know DAA's been shutting everybody down, but I don't play that. If you want the free plans to print your own bullet feeder, this has nothing to do with the DAA bullet feeder. I mean, it's a do-it-yourself. I mean, come on now. But they like to take the patents on everything. That's all right. So. All right, well thanks for watching. If you got any questions about cleaning your brass or whatever, you want me to do any more die setting up videos, just hit a comment down below and I'll hook it up.